What is going on everybody? My name is Baloo and welcome to the jungle. This is the channel where we take a very simple approach to technical analysis. We look at the price in the context of volume using the Wyckoff method. If that is something that interests you, then why don't you hit the subscribe button? We do this every single day, except for the days that I don't. And I don't know why I said we, because it's just me. <laughs> Anyways, um, also if you would like to join the free Discord down below, there's a link uh, in the comment section in the description section you can come and join the community it's a free community we have a lot of free PDFs we have a lot of free educational materials as well as I am quite active in the discord and you can ask me any questions or bring any projects that you're curious about to my attention and we can dive into them a little bit further but today we're gonna be taking a look at swipe SXP I want to do an update on swipe because SXP actually flashed a very interesting volume signature and uh, it deserves a little bit of attention because it has implications that uh, accumulation is nearing completion. So I'll explain more. Let's just jump right into the charts here. So taking a look at SXP, we're zoomed out here. We're on, oops, we're on the four hour chart. I'm just zooming out to kind of get an idea of what's going on inside of the, the accumulation. So inside of the accumulation here, you can see we have our preliminary support level. We did come down for our climactic action for our seller's climax. Seller's climax, we got our automatic rally, got a little bit of resistance here, and then boom. I'm kind of ignoring this area for the trading range here because this range is what fits the most price action. You're not always going to place your trading range up at the highest point because you're missing, you're missing a ton of information in this area here. It's a lot more likely that this this automatic real uh, automatic rally ended here, and then we just got an over exuberant reaction after the fact. So Wyckoff is not, you know, cut and dry. There's a lot of interpretation and uh, decisions that you need to make on your own when interpreting the price um, using this method. But uh, basically, that's kind of how I'm looking at the price action here. This was what's referred to as an up thrust action. We just got a little bit of an over exuberance and that did get corrected down for our second test in phase B. So second test right here. And then we had a beautiful consolidation to the downside here into our spring. We got a little bit of volume in on the spring. So, you know, we're looking for that decline in the volume. We got a nice decline, very low volume. And then we got our spike. We got our, our interest starting to peak right around the area of the spring. This is what you want to see. And then we come up for our sign of strength. We had a nice rally to the top of the range. There was available supply, too much supply. We actually weren't able to get out of the range. So it's a very minor sign of weakness, but you know, we're showing signs of life and that's good. From that point, from the spring forward, the uh, volume is increasing. So, <clears throat> um, this is this is good. We're showing interest coming in. Volume is very interpretive. You know, traditionally speaking, when the volume increases and the price is decreasing, it's not very good. But for this, you know, it is kind of increasing here. This is getting really messy. Let's just clean it up there. Um, the volume is increasing, demand is increasing, but what's really, really interesting is this volume signature right here. Look at this. It's, it's huge. It's really, it's a lot bigger than any of the volume signatures we've seen inside of this entire consolidation range, but look at the result. So volume is the effort and the price is the result. That's how you need to think about volume when you're interpreting the volume and price. So look at the amount of effort applied and look at the result in the price. Nothing happened. A ton of supply entered the market and the price did not dump. This is what's referred to as absorption. Absorption is when you get a lot of volume changing hands, you get a lot of uh, interest and um, buying and selling without a lot of price action. So what's happening is it's a transition because we're in an accumulation where our bias is to think that we are, that there are institutional interests accumulating the assets. So this is almost like a capitulation of weak hands just deciding to give up on SXP, but the institutions bought it all up. 
That's how I'm interpreting it, only because of the fact that we are inside of an accumulation, or at least I think we're in an accumulation. So because of that bias, this volume signature on that result of price is telling me that the institutional buyers are accumulating the asset in large quantities. Um, so, you know, this is a very good sign. And I think that we're entering the, the end stages of this accumulation. You know, we've, we've already completed phase A, we've already completed phase B, this is our phase C, and we're now nearing completion of phase D. So what we need is we need a move up, we'll probably come up to this resistance point here and get a backup and start to consolidate on top before marking up. This backup phase is what we're looking for right now. I'm not taking a trade inside of SXP just yet. Um, I'm going to wait for the volatility to start increasing. I'm gonna wait for the demand to start coming in and I'm gonna wait for the backup because the backup is really the most important thing that a Wyckoffian can um, position. The, it's the most important place that you can position yourself in. Again, if you would like to learn anything, any more about this technique, this method, it's really, really powerful. I highly encourage you to join the community down below. There's a free Discord link. Join the community. Do it right now. It's free to join. Um, I do have premium services inside of the server, but there's a lot of free educational content in there as well. That is all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed the content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there are any coins that you would like me to take a look at, please leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, please trade safe. It is a jungle out there. Peace.